चैप्टर थर्टीन साउंड इन आर डेली लाइफ वी हियर सो मेनी साउंड देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डाइवर्सिटी इन द इन्यूमरेबल साउंड दैट वी हियर सम साउंड आर लाउड एंड आर हर्ड इजली वाइल सम अदर्स आर वेरी सॉफ्ट एंड कैन नॉट बी हर्ड अनलेस वी लिसन अटेंटिवली ऑल्सो वी लाइक सम साउंड एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड we get annoyed by some other sounds so now tell me which sounds you like mm, when somebody is singing a soft song mm mm-hmm. then chirping of birds and sound of a flute correct but some noise are very harsh for example noise of cracker barking of a dog and the sounds of bj hmm so now we'll see how our sounds produce you must have observed that the objects that produce sound that is the diaphragm of the speaker the rubber band the diaphragm of a tabla show a certain movement that is they have a certain kind of motion that means they vibrate the vibration of an object is necessary for the production of sound as long as the object vibrates the sound is heard when the vibration stops the sound also stops the object due to which sound is produced is called the source of that sound then something about acoustics the science of sound resonance including the production propagation and effects of sound is called acoustics the intensity of sound is measured in a unit called decibel db the vibration of the vocal cords in our larynx or voice box also produces sound the voice box is located in our throat now the question arises how sound is heard there is air around the source of sound as the source of sound begins to vibrate the layer of air nearest to the source also vibrates a wave of vibrations of that sound spreads in all the directions from the source of the sound such a wave is called a sound wave the sound waves reach our ears there is a delicate diaphragm or ear drum in the cavity of our ears it starts vibrating too the sensation produced by these vibrations are passed on to the brain through the nerves in the ears and we hear the sound transmission of sound occurs at a different speed through different mediums it is fastest through a solid less faster through a liquid and least faster through a gas then noise pollution a loud sound is harsh to the ear such sounds produce noise very loud or continuous noise has adverse effects on the people of that locality their hearing may get impaired which can even lead to deafness it also causes restlessness irritability and mental exhaustion one cannot work with concentration this kind of continuous noise which may have ill effects is called noise pollution noise pollution occurs when we hear one or many sounds harmful to the ear so now the measures for preventing noise pollution as far as possible avoid blowing the horn the volume of the tv or radio in the house should be restricted for the house only vehicle should be maintained properly to reduce the unnecessary sounds they produce factories airports railway stations and bus stands should be located at the proper distance away from residential areas